Hello, Internet, and welcome to this first video in a series I have planned um, to describe the software I've written called OREP and its features. So, um, where do I start? I probably start with the name OREP, is short for Open Online Repertory of Homeopathy and Testimony, that I'm not very good at giving projects of mine very creative names. So, the O is short for um, open source which is probably the, one of the most or the most notable difference to other softwares of its kind. If you scroll to the bottom of this web page, you even get a link down here to its GitHub repository. When you click on that, let's open another tab, um, the source code pops up and you can run the program yourself, study its source code, uh, change its source code and what have you. So, and as such, you can not only change and study the source code, it's also entirely free to use and it will stay free to use. So you can, all you need is a web browser in order to access it and run it and, um, and Bob's your uncle. Right. So when you go to oorep.com, um, this screen more or less, depending on your screen size, is greeting you and the main UI elements are these two guys here in the middle. Uh, two tabs, Repertory, Materia, Medica, and they look awfully similar, as you can see. Um, let's have a look briefly at this Repertory tab here. You see on the left, there's a drop-down where you have the choice between a dozen or so repertories. These are all um, recognizable by their abbreviation here in the beginning. Um, some of these probably ring a bell to you or they should. Otherwise, I guess you wouldn't be here or interested in OREP. Um, others may not ring a bell to you. Um, what you can do is, if you want to find out what, what exactly is on offer and you're not quite sure what these are and, and you want to know which one of those to use, then you can go in the Frequently Asked uh, Questions and Answers section up here on the page. You click on that and um, it gives you a bit of general information on the tool, what's repertorization and so on. Um, yeah, a link to the Git repository that I've just shown you. And here's a list of um, sources that are included on this web page. <coughs> And you can study those. This is the list of um, repertories. Here's the abbreviations and here's the full title so that you know which is which. And here's the same for the Materia Medicas. Um, you see that there's a far less Materia Medicas than repertories. But uh, yeah, we will get to that in due time. Um, right. So. Ah, the other interesting thing is, I guess, uh, is when you scroll to the bottom of the, or pretty much to the bottom of the frequently asked questions and answers, um, if you don't want to read anything else, any other documents, manuals, or so on, um, I still urge you to read these three blue um, and bars here, these three, uh, three blue boxes, um, because they will detail basically in a nutshell how search works on, on OREP. We will also look at this in other videos, but if you just want the gist of it, if you just want to get right to the meat, look at these three um, boxes here, um, and then you then you should get the idea of how search works. Uh, you can also hear with news, you can subscribe in, on Twitter on the news um, stream, privacy policy disclaimer, and what have you. Okay, so this is basically the, the, the web page in a nutshell. You don't have to scroll down. If you if you go to it, this is the mask, this is the two tabs, and um, most people will just want to use um, either of these um, these two tabs. So let's say we are in repertory mode and the web page already tells you what you can do. Um, you can enter symptoms in order to find the rubrics, for instance, head, pain, left. We can just do that um, for the sake of argument. Um, there's also this advanced button here. We get to that maybe later or in some other videos. We shall see how much time we've got. So if you click on that, then it takes a few seconds and ah, ta-da, um, you get 142 rubrics that match head, pain, and left. Uh, showing page one of two of the results because there's only 100 results on one page. So there's 100 on the first page and 42 on the second. Um, you can now go through these and find exactly the rubric that's interesting to you. And then when you have that, for instance, head, pain, cutting, temples, left, you know, if this is what you're after, you just click on the plus. And you see that's grayed out, so you can't click it twice. And what that does is, if you scroll to the bottom of the page, um, it adds that rubric to your case. See here? That's, that rubric is now in your case. We go back up and we are looking for something else. Say, for instance, we're looking for 
we've, we've also got say uh, back pain or something then we enter back pain you don't you saw you don't necessarily have to use um, the, the, the the commas you can just end, end them like this so you have or well this is 3000 rubrics which is a bit much let's say head pain extending back okay so this is better this is um, 31 rubrics matching head pain extending to back and let's just say um, um, I don't know head pain extending to back let's just take this rubric it's a nice rubric because it's a bit bigger and then let's say I don't know for the sake of argument we have a, a bitter taste uh, in the mouth or something like this okay oh this is a huge rubric but why not let's add a, a very big rubric just to see that so we have now three rubrics in our case we can scroll down here um, if you click on this link here by the way and it takes a few seconds and you get the full names rather than the abbreviations that can be helpful sometimes especially for beginners or if you're not sure what a what a abbreviation here means and when you're satisfied with your case you click on repertorize and then you see the uh, this, the summary of the um, valuations of the various rubrics and you see uh, here that uh, that pulsatilla for instance is, is very high um, yeah Kali Iotum is very high Lycopodium Natrium Muriaticum and so on yeah. you can scroll through here and see it all if you leave the mouse over this then you get the full name uh, let's just say you're not sure whether it's um, Natrium Muriaticum or Pulsatilla then maybe you want to do a further study you click on the Materia Medica link and um, if you click here on the advanced on the advanced uh, button there or the advanced search options button then this pops out here you know here you can trigger it and you can for instance enter here the remedy name Pulsatilla and then show all results and you get the whole remedy picture of Pulsatilla you can study it in depth um, according to Clark's Materia Medica you also see that Pulsatilla pops up in the or there's there's um, chapters on Pulsatilla and four other Materia Medicas for instance Börike then you can read it here or you can read up then the Natrium Muriaticum we said not M yep this one here we say what Börike has to say about Natrium Muriaticum I want to leave it um, at that because I think this um, very briefly summarizes what what this um, software is all about I will like I said I will create further videos um, that describe the various features each individually in a bit more detail but this is enough I guess um, for an overview to give you an idea of, of how this works there's a bit of additional information up here which you may study especially the frequently asked questions like I said this study this if you want to know how search works um, here this is a, a, a some users prefer sort of a dark scheme here you can switch for instance the night view um, sometimes good if you don't want to have a too bright screen um, flashing into your face yeah and uh, I guess I'll leave it at that thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you in another video thank you very much bye-bye